this is an experiment um, dealing with the exciters, uh, specifically the, the SEC exciters. And uh, I've been following Dr. Stifler's work, and I can't replicate what he's doing because I don't have the equipment. So uh, this is not a replication by any means, but sometimes I can study what he's doing and come up with interesting effects. And this was one I tried today. In his latest video, he's got two pieces of aluminum to show the interrelation between masses in a capacitive link. And what I've got here is I've got a, an LED on being run by a SEC 15-3. It's my homemade one. And uh, this is uh, being powered by a AA battery that's powering this circuit here, which is uh, basically a SEC 18. Uh, that's the way the circuit would look if you were to look at it. The only difference is my L2 and L3 coil are incorporated here, but it's using a tunable capacitor uh, like on the 18 series and over here on the 15 series it's a tunable inductor. But what I wanted to show tonight was, uh, and the reason for this video, is I can tune this circuit with the SEC 15 that's actually being powered through a capacitive link between these two masses. Now this LED is coming out of the SEC 15. The SEC 15 is being powered by an Averminkel plug. It's connected to this mass. These are 6 volt batteries. They're lead acid batteries and, and they worked pretty good for identical masses. That's the only thing I had to use for masses. But uh, what I want to show here was I can take the uh, tuning inductor here and tune this driver circuit with it. See it go out, come back on. It's tuning this one too. And this is actually running. This uh, SEC 15-3 is running through a capacitive link to the driver. But the slave over here is actually causing resonance to happen between both circuits. Now this was the other thing that the, the doctor showed that I thought was fascinating was this capacitive link here, and here again this is not a replication, this is just what I've noticed, uh, ties all this stuff together and it's really interesting. If I separate these out, the whole thing shuts down. Both shut down. Now I can tune this back into resonance with this uh, tunable uh, capacitor. This will pop back in here. And there I'll go that one too. But it's in such a way now that I can't tune both of them with that. So I thought that was a very interesting dynamic is how two masses work together in a capacitive link and how they uh, interrelate. So this was just my demonstration tonight of uh, capacitive link between masses and it has to do with the uh, SEC theory. And like I say, this is not a replication. This is just an interesting effect that I noticed between the two of these exciter circuits. Anyway, thanks for watching. Happy uh, Thanksgiving.